Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well, although I do know that there have been intense energies lately. So today's reading is going to be for divine soulmate connections, could be twin souls, just divine counterparts. We're going to be looking into the masculine's energy as well as the feminine's. I'm going to try to keep it a bit quick this time, but we'll see. Sometimes I, I tend that and it doesn't work out. Spirit has a different plan in mind for the reading, so we'll see what comes through. But either way, do keep in mind that it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can find all the information for how to order a reading in the description box. All right, so let's see, let's get started. What is going on with the masculines? What do we need to know at the moment? All right, we have man holding a heart. They're feeling their emotions very, very deeply for their feminine. Let's see what else we get. All right, and we have abandoned contemplation. Give me one sec, because this one went flying. And mute, okay. So I do feel like for this particular group, um, something is being held back. So it could be that there is no communication and for others of you, maybe there is a decrease in communication or the masculine is just holding back, not really expressing themselves. I am, I'm getting with this abandoned card. It could definitely be that the masculine um, has abandoned the feminine, but I'm mostly getting that it's the masculine who's feeling abandoned at the moment. So it could be that the feminine has walked away, whether it be in the physical or just energetically, if you have not been in communication. Um, but the masculine right now is feeling either abandoned by the feminine or really um, feeling very deeply some, certain emotions if they're the ones who have abandoned the connection, right? So that's why we have the contemplation card because they're thinking a lot about this at the moment, what it is that they have abandoned, that they have abandoned their, their heart, basically, right? And where they feel love too by being mute, by not communicating, or by not being expressive. All right, so let's get some tarot here, let's see. We'll continue on with the masculines and then we'll look into the feminines separately. All right, we have the Ten of Swords, which was actually sideways, the Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're definitely feeling an ending here, and it's feeling very, very painful. Um, almost feeling doomed. Doomed in this connection, feeling like something is just very, very difficult to overcome, um, which could be directly related to the feminine, but it could be something else in their lives that's serving as a barrier to this connection. Whatever the case though, they're feeling defeated. I'm getting that they're feeling defeated by their own self. And that's why they're feeling abandoned. And it's actually feeling abandoned by their own self. Again, it could also be feeling abandoned by the feminine, but it's like they, they know that it's because they abandoned their heart and that is why the feminine will, would walk away. If you have walked away. Right, so yeah, they're feeling defeated when it comes to opening up this new path in the physical with the feminine. Let's see what else, let's get more, see if we can get more specific. the nine of cups the eight of wands in reverse and the six of cups in reverse all right so this is what's going on um, in their headspace there they know what it is that they want right they have this wish this wish for for their feminine however they're not moving towards that at the moment all right um, or at least they're not communicating this which is very much in line with what I was saying before with the very first cards so there's like a this lack of communication to move towards what it is that they feel would fulfill them. However, they're still not able to let go of the past with the feminine. That is still there. So there's a lot of um, thinking about the feminine and feeling a lot of 
nostalgia, but to the point where it's, um, again, it, it has like a very gloomy, gloomy feel right now for what the masculines are going through. Let's just get one more row. So we got four, we have, ooh, we have two kings in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Cups in reverse, Temperance and the Ace of Cups. Let me just move these over. Okay, wow. Yeah, the masculines are not having a good time right now. They're not having a good time right now. They're, um, they're feeling very unstable, both emotionally as well as in their groundedness. It's like they're feeling very ungrounded. I feel like with these two kings being in reverse, they're feeling like they're losing control over their own self. So I don't know what it is that's going on in their lives and how this might be playing out. Um, but they're not feeling very secure at the moment where they are. Um... And they're also not feeling emotionally happy, stable, fulfilled, none of that. And of course, this is related to feeling defeated, right, by their own self. And because there's so much nostalgia here for the feminine and there's this like gloom of feeling like they have abandoned the connection or that they, you know, they did something to abandon this. They are working through it. Um, I feel like it's taking a little bit of time, to be honest, with temperance, but there is some healing that is happening um, through these energies, all right? They're like very negative energies, but it's like through the, these negative energies, there's healing that is taking place. And I feel like they're slowly but surely bringing this, all of this into some kind of a balance here, right? Because ultimately we have this Ace of Cups and that is what is driving them that is what is guiding them all right and this is pure unconditional love that they feel for their feminine so hmm let's see what we want to clarify because i'm gonna see if we, if we can get anything just for more specific groups within the collective um Clarify that top row with the Ten of Swords, Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Why am I not surprised to see the Ten of Swords again? <laughs> Sideways again this time. Um, yeah, Ten of Swords and the Knight of Wands in reverse. There's a lot of frustration here. A lot of frustration. And again, it's they're feeling that towards their own self, towards their own self. They haven't given up just yet, but it's like, um, they're not really moving either. And that's because whatever is happening right now, it's taking place within. And eventually the results of that will manifest in the 3D. So it will show in the physical. Something, I, again, I do feel like something has changed. Something is different. And we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we get for, for the feminine's energy. But I feel like something has changed here. And it's because of that change that they're feeling so, so defeated. But it's like, it's this, um, it's like a defeat that they need to feel because it's like an ending. It's an ending to a cycle that has possibly been repeated over and over again for many of you. Um, and it's like that cycle is breaking. But let's see, let's clarify the second row. All right, really interesting how we're getting such, so many repeating cards. All right, we have the Two of Swords in reverse, the Page of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups in reverse a second time. All 
So there's no doubt about how they feel or, or what they want. They know exactly how they feel about their feminine and that that is what, what they would want. That is their wish. It's like they're holding it as a fantasy. So if at some point they were undecided or in denial, they're not at the moment. They know exactly what it is that they want. And again, it makes sense. That's why they feel like they've abandoned this. There is something here that is happening. See, we have the Page of Pentacles um, together with the Eight of Wands, which is in reverse. So even though they're not communicating much, there is, there is progress here that is happening. They are moving, but I feel like it's more of an internal um, research, kind of like it's like all of this that they're going through right now, that defeat, it's, it's processing. It's like it needs to settle. It needs to settle and like um, get grounded within them before they can actually start acting on this. And again, whatever this shift is, whatever this ending is, because it, it does feel like there's some kind of an ending to something, whether it be, you know, communication or something shifted, something shifted um, when it comes to the dynamic or with the way things played out. Like something has, I feel like something has happened that is a lot, it's a lot more different than the way things were up until this point. All right, at least for this group here. And because of that, it's like it's taking the nostalgia to a whole different level. All right, let's see. Let's clarify these kings. The two of wands. Yeah, so this is that contemplation. Um, all of this is happening in order for to make them think in order to make them see something before acting on it. And that's, that's why the Two of Wands, it's like holding your power in reserve. And they're holding their power in reserve because they're so unstable at the moment. And it's more like planning, thinking and contemplating and planning. But again, it's like that can only take form once they have found that stability, which they are moving towards. Let's see what else here. Five of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they're feeling like they are the ones who have abandoned this connection. Like that message just keeps coming through. And that is hurting them. That is hurting them um, because they know that the truth of this connection is this Ace of Cups, that unconditional love. So they feel defeated by their own selves. It's like they're feeling like they failed. So yeah, it is a little bit pessimistic, but again, there's a purpose for them to feel this way because it's through pain that change happens. Okay. Well, let's move on to the feminines. And then we'll also take a look at what is coming up. So I won't pull as many for the feminines. Let's see. All right, first card out, we have Happy Family. Which is similar to that Ten of Cups um, that's in the tarot, um, tarot decks. But let's see, let's see what else we get here. <laughs> Patience shadow work, put that the wrong way, all right, and material world. I feel like there's a lot of um, thinking for the feminines concerning family or concerning love, basically. But not just love, this is more of actually bringing love to the physical, right, to the material world. The feminines have definitely learned a lot of patience, but I feel like, and you've learned like what that word really means, which is like very difficult to actually define. 
um, because there's a difference between being forced to wait, like if you have no other option, so you there's not much you can do, that's not really patience because you don't even have a choice there, right? Um, so it's not necessarily being patient. Patience, true patience, is when you're okay with the situation and the way that it is. Um, and you're not feeling rushed, or even if you choose patience, all right? That's when you know that you have learned um, the lesson of patience. And it's a lot harder <laughs> um, than most people would think. But there's definitely been a lot of... I feel like there have been events, again, it could be related to whatever that Ten of Swords is for the masculine. Um, just something has shifted, something has shifted, and it's making the feminine think a lot about family or the future or, you know, will they ever be able to have love in their lives? Like how much more waiting is there for, for them to actually have this happy family or, you know, and family meaning even if it's just you and your divine masculine, right? So that's why we have the shadow work card because there's, it's like diving deep and having to really face those fears of not having this yet or for some of you it could even be um, having to cope with the fear of this not ever happening at all and then what would that mean for your material world or what would that mean for you emotionally so yeah it definitely feels like the feminines are being challenged by the divine um, a lot so do know this, if you feel like you are being challenged in this way, it's because the divine knows that you are strong enough to, to overcome it. Let's see what else we get for the feminines. Guys, I cannot make this up. Very first card out, Ten of Swords, upright. All right, and it's like the masculine got that exact same card twice together. Like Ten of Swords clarifying the Ten of Swords. And now we get the Ten of Swords for the feminine. So yeah, something big has definitely happened here or is happening or is about to happen. Know that it's okay. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we have here. Ooh, the Eight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. All right, it could be that the feminine, um, for some of you, this isn't gonna be for all of you because it's a specific message coming through. For some of you, um, you have walked away from your masculine or, you know, or energetically you have detached and then there are times possibly like now um, time is relevant so it could be uh, a recent past energy it could be the present but it could also be something coming up so you feel like you have or you felt like you had detached but then it's like something turns back around and you're feeling that ten of swords again Yeah, like I said, this is just confirmation. The feminines are really being tested right now. Um, you're being challenged to overcome this. Um, it's, it definitely could be a mirroring. You definitely, with this Ten of Swords, could be picking up on what the masculine is feeling. And it could be throwing you off. Like, it, it could be making you question, well, you know, I was doing fine. You know, what happened now? Why did things revert? Why did my emotions revert? Or the way I'm seeing this? And again, it's okay. You're you're just being presented with some challenges, right? Those shadows, those fears. Because there's a fear attached to all of this. Let me just get one more row. Who does? And the Six of Swords. Yeah, it definitely feels like there's been an ending. There's definitely been something that has shifted. Something is different. Um, something has transformed. Even transmuted. 
And whatever that is, again, the message here for you is that it's okay, you are moving forward. It might not feel like it. I feel like there might be some, with that Wheel of Fortune being in reverse right next to the Eight of Cups, I feel like there might be some fluctuating between um, having hope for this connection and then trying to let go of this connection. Because it's it's difficult to do, right? Um, it's Sometimes it can be difficult to have hope, but then it's also difficult to let go, so then it's like you're trapped. It's like a catch-22. Um, so yeah, I feel like the feminine's energy is a little bit complicated, but you're definitely feeling some kind of an ending or being faced with, the, you know, with some kind of a scenario where you're being led to believe that you might never come into union with the masculine. And then so you're really having to face that in reality. And that can be tough. That can be tough because even though you may have done that in the past, a lot of the times there was, you know, like, like a self-defense mechanism, like putting up a wall and, you know, pretending like, like it's okay. And it's like now the universe is showing you that, hey, yeah, but look, you know, you still feel this way, which is okay, which is okay. That's the whole point. It's okay. You, you can get through it. All right. Wow. That was intense. So I'm not going to clarify. <laughs> Let's just see what is coming up in the near future for the masculines or where it seems like they're heading. Like what the effects of all of this might be in the next couple weeks or so. Three of Swords in Reverse, Judgment, and the Queen of Wands. Still feeling that heartbreak. Still feeling, um, it, it's still feeling whatever it is that I was explaining before, okay? Like feeling like they have abandoned this, um, but definitely feeling their emotions very, very strongly, right? With man holding a heart, like this is, this is their wish fulfillment, um, undoubtedly, right? With their feminine not being able to recover. Um, but I feel like with this Three of Swords being in reverse and then judgment right next to that, that pain and everything that they're going through, it is beginning to heal, but not in the sense of not wanting the feminine anymore. No, it's just that it's give, it's helping to give them a wake-up call with judgment, being able to make a, dis, a discernment in order to be able to make a decision and take action, right? Or making some kind of a discernment concerning their divine feminine here, this queen of wands, knowing that this is what they want and being very, very confident about that. But judgment is all about having, having learned a lesson, being resurrected, coming back up from that pit of the, of the 10 of swords. So it's like, you know, right now, everything is feeling very pessimistic, very gloomy. Like they're feeling doomed. Um, but as they heal, I feel like this is them um, actually healing their heart in terms of their own self because they're feeling like they abandoned this. So there's healing with that, still feeling that love for their feminine, not wanting the separation with their feminine, and all of that is leading to this major wake-up call. It's like this horn is being blown, <laughs> um, alerting the masculines to take action, to resurrect, to come back up. It's like, okay, you stayed there long enough. It's time to come up now and go after what it is that you want. This queen of wands, the feminine. All right, I think that's... That's about it. Um, I don't look at the what is coming up for, for the feminines right now because it really is, it really is up to you. I feel like the messages that came through were also guidance, right? To prepare you or to help you through what might be, might be coming up, okay? So just take, take those messages if they resonated for you. So let's get a couple of final oracle cards. 
if you had any final messages. All right, and we have fork in the road. And yeah, I do feel like actually both the masculine and the feminines are in this fork in the road. Um, there are signs pointing you in a particular direction and it's all about being open, being open to receiving those signs. All right, know that you are moving in the right direction even if it feels like things are kind of going back and forth within your own self. And this is exactly, you know, where, where the masculines are as well. Let's get one more from this deck. All right, and we have the new moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. Yeah, and I definitely feel like um, this is more for the masculines. Definitely take this if it resonates with you. Okay, you can take it for your own self. I'm seeing the first card that we got as being more of the feminines, actually. I know the masculines are also in a, in a similar position, but I'm seeing it as the feminines. Um, kind of trying, with, trying to decide which way to go in terms of having hope or letting go. And, or how can you do both? Is there a way to do both? So I feel like that's where the feminine is. Um, and this one is for the masculines, bringing love into the situation because they're feeling that love and it's all about actually going after it, bringing it into their physical world. So that's what this judgment is about. That's what's being <laughs> um, blown in their ears right now by the divine. So, I think this is it. I'm going to leave it at that. And I thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys soon. Much love.